for Get Lunch Period. The fact that it's about to be the weekend. Even recess. How do y'all know this song? Nothing. Could top meeting Steelers cornerback Levi Wallace for these fifth and sixth graders. Are you guys to be here? As for who they have to thank for number 29's special visit, their science teacher, McCall Emmerich. Um, my mom was watching the news. When she heard about a contest being put on by Austin Air Systems, a company that educates people on the importance of air quality and respiratory health. The message that we really want to stress with kids is, you know, there's a lot of things that they can't control when it comes to air quality. You know, they can't control emissions and smog and these types of things, but they can control things such as not vaping. They can control being active and, and you know, it, taking their own health in their own hands. And running an air quality program herself at the school. I figured I'm going to enter, so I went online and I entered, got the email saying you entered the contest jokingly came in the next day on the way to lunch and I said to one of the administrators here, hey, we're getting an assembly next Friday, so, you know, mark off sixth grade, we're not gonna be able to do anything. McCall was confident, despite not being the so-called luckiest person. I'm one of those people at the grocery store, it's like, I don't to win this, I don't to win that, I'm gonna take that ticket, I'm gonna put a ticket in here. As for if she ever actually wins, no. But this time would be different. Out of all the other Pittsburgh area schools, Akmatonia won the assembly. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! We honestly felt like we won the lottery. So it was a really big surprise, a really great surprise. And a double surprise for Principal Hebner, who had no idea McCall had even entered them. We, I was watching the news because we had a board meeting that night. And before I went down, the news was on and I saw that they mentioned Akmatonia Elementary School. And I said, what? Unable to believe it, Hebner says he's glad McCall took the chance, as it's just what their school needed. Coming off the, the pandemic, we didn't have a, a lot of assemblies, so we're getting our legs under us now, having a lot of people come in. Kids need this, especially the second half of the school year, get, get his kick started, and this is, this is like medicine. With the news spreading to the rest of the school, all that was left to do was to show up and show out. They came in dressed for a tailgate party. We represented, we 100% represented. And Levi Wallace 100% felt the love. And I've met some of the kids in the hallway already and they definitely juiced me up. It's always good just to give them back to the community, uh, especially kids. We just look up to you like superheroes. Which is why Austin Air System says, who better to talk to kids about taking care of themselves than a player like Levi? And these athletes, they're the epitome of health, you know. This is an important message, and it, it, I think, is a little bit more, not a little bit, a lot more impactful when, you know, a professional athlete comes in to help deliver the message of just some random lady. Being off for this season, Wallace could have been anywhere else, but he says there was nowhere else he'd rather be than spending time with the kids at Acme. I think it goes back to how I was raised um, with my parents. Um, it, it was never about football and, you know, one day football ends. Um, it's about what you do with the platform. And so while I'm in this position now and while I have the resources I can to give back, that's what I'm going to do. Wallace shared his story. A lot of people didn't believe in me. Encouraged kids to do good in school. Stay in your books, stay in school, um, and bet on yourself. And also answered questions, with the first being this. What's your name? Can I, can I dunk? Yeah. Never backing down from a challenge, Wallace had to prove that, despite not playing basketball since eighth grade, he still had it. After showing off his ups, Wallace took selfies and of course signed autographs. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All while DJ Milk kept it lit. But with all good things sadly having to come to an end, Wallace left this message with kids. I'm just here to encourage them and kind of tell them that they could be whatever they want to do, um, whether that's a doctor or a lawyer or a professional athlete. Um, as long as you believe in yourself, uh, anything is possible.